My method of building drivable rafts and motorboats and Ark Survival Ascended just got better. Thanks to this comment from Intoxicated Myself, I've been able to reduce the number of steps taken and structures needed to place foundations at the lowest possible snap point on rafts and motorboats so that you can still drive them. And in this video, I'm going to show you how. Let's get cracking. I really think as I'm toast bloke and I'm back in Ark Survival Ascended because this game has been getting patched like no tomorrow. And it's not the things that you'd want. It's not the things you'd expect. It's the little tricks that I used in all of my raft videos. So a lot of those are redundant, but in this one, I'm going to show you how to get past those and to get these rafts built how you want them to be. So I have a raft here, which we're going to start with. And I also have a motorboat and I'm going to show you this trick on both so you can have foundations placed in your raft and still be able to access the wheel or the rudder to be able to drive it which I think is super important. Now, before we get started, I've had a few people asking how to get rid of the sail. It's super, super simple. Just look at your raft, interact with it on the radial menu, go to options and then hide sail. And away it goes, it's dropped. It will not get in the way of the rest of your build. Now speaking of the build, there are only three things you need alongside the foundations you're placing. That is a pillar, a ceiling and a quarter wall. So make sure you have got those. But other than that, it's pretty straightforward. The first step is to find the center of your raft. Now you can eyeball that. You can even just pop it down and it will be lined up with your raft due to alignment mode. But I want to show you how to make sure you get this fully perfect. The way you do that is you line yourself up with the raft by driving it and then dismounting. When you dismount, don't rotate your character. You can look up, you can look down, you can strafe left and right, you can move forwards and backwards, just don't rotate. And what you're looking for is this joint that you get dismounted on to the left hand side of the central plank. There is a mark, it's this mark here that you're looking for. Now it does change its shade and its size depending on the time of day and weather but it's always there and you can always make it out so that is what you're looking for that little mark on the join there now i'm going to do this in third person because it's just as easy i'm going to get out the pillar and i'm going to align the front side the side facing me sorry with the edge of that mark i want it just like that just over it and once it's over it i'm going to move to my right i'm going to strafe and I'm going to get this pillar in the center of that middle plank on the raft. When I'm happy, I'm going to click fire once to lock it in position. And this is where the comment from Intoxicated Myself was super, super helpful. They have a very, very, very keen eye. I was super impressed. They noticed that when I was finding the correct height of the pillar, that the icon for rotating the structure pops below. Now I've looked into this further and it doesn't happen everywhere. It only happens near the shore. And that is because the game thinks that because you are through the raft with the pillar, that it should be snapping to the ground below. So you need to be near the shore for this. But what you want is you want that blue rotation icon to sit at the lowest point possible on top of the raft. So it's gonna take a little bit of tinkering and you just wanna make sure that it comes up just on top. That's a bit high, I think. I think that's it. And when you're happy, you're going to click to place your pillar. And that is the hardest part done. Getting this pillar in the center at the correct height. The rest of it's easy. I'm going to get out the ceiling. I'm going to pop it on top of the pillar. I'm going to get out the quarter wall. Snap it to the side of the ceiling. And finally, grab your foundation and place it. And you'll notice that when I use the wood one, you can actually see some of the raft through. And if I look down, I should be able to drive the raft. You can see I can there. Now, that's good for testing, but it's not good enough evidence, I guess, to show that this works. So I'm going to pick up the structures and I'm going to place the rest of the foundations around the raft. And this will fully cover the raft if you get that pillar perfectly central. And I can drive it, if you look, from anywhere on the raft. So that is super, super cool, super helpful. And the good news about this, some of the benefits are you can build on this and you know, you can drive the raft from anywhere. You don't have to put a hatch frame on or anything silly like that. Also, because you have foundations fully covering the raft, the sides and the underside of the raft is protected by them. So any creatures or people who want to damage a raft have to get through the structures first. Except for some reason, the lead sick thieves can just go through foundations and smash your raft up anyway. But other than that, it's all good. The only problem is 
the top isn't protected, but you're going to be building walls and ceilings over this anyway, so it will be. You know what I mean. But that's the method there. And we're going to jump over to the motorboat now and show you how to do that on the motorboat. Now, you need gasoline in it so you can turn it on. You can't drive it until you've got gasoline in, so make sure you've got some. What you're going to do then is drive and dismount to make sure you're all lined up. I'm going to use metal structures here because we're on a motorboat just so it matches and what you want to be looking for are these rivets that I'm standing on running through the center that's a good reference point but also this square that I'm stood in you want your pillar pretty much bang over that square and it helps for this one to go into K mode and just zoom out and you can see if those rivets are roughly in the center but also the outer square around the square you're placing the pillar on there's some corners there some of them are bigger than others but you can look and you can kind of get a feel for whether you think that's in the middle i think i need to move to about there when you're happy come out of k mode click fire once to lock it in position and it's the same trick make sure you're near the shore and then you're going to lower it and you're going to wait till that pops underneath that icon for rotation and just raise it so you get it just to pop above so you have that lowest possible snap point it looks like it's there place the pillar then you move around and do what you like but it's the same again. Ceiling on top, quarter wall snap to the side, and then place your foundation. There we go. We can pick the structures up now, get those out of the way, and place the rest of the foundations. Now you'll notice the metal foundations do a much better job of covering the raft and the motorboat. It looks so much nicer, and they're also stronger, so I'd recommend using them. You don't want this getting sunk, you want it to be strong, so get metal foundations on it and make sure they're covering the whole motorboat. Now I should have mentioned with the raft as well, once you have these down, if you've made a mistake or you want to pick them back up, you can't because you can only access the raft, unless you go to the very edge or jump in the water and take them out from below the water. So just in case you need to pick up your foundations for any reason, that's a little tip. You might also find that you won't be a place of foundation you'll be thinking why is it red boxing what's going on if there's a rock or something on the ground or you're too close to the shore in a particular area it won't place so what you want to do is you want to get on your raft or your motorboat and just drive out a little bit deeper you only need to be near the shore for that pillar placement so that is the trick that's how you do it i want to go over a few more things or one being how different things look on the raft and the motorboat so let's grab thatch that is the cheapest structure. I wouldn't ever use this, but you'll notice that this dip in the middle means you can see the motorboat and the raft through it. If we go for the wood one, there we go. You've seen how that looks over there. It's pretty good on the raft and it's similarly okay on the motorboat, but you do see a lot more metal coming through it. If we jump in and grab a stone one, I think these are pretty decent. There's not a lot that you see, but again, it's not quite as nice as the metal. So that's why I'm saying I'd use metal. Looks better. It's stronger. It's just, it's just the better material. Use it, right? But stone, probably the best after that on a motorboat. Over here on the raft, if I quickly show you this, we've already got wood down. So let's pop the thatch in. Again, you can see a bit of the raft sticking through. Can't really be helped. With the stone, though, this is pretty good coverage on the raft I must say you can't see a lot at all just a little bit through some of the cement there and then finally the metal and like with the motorboat it actually looks class it covers the bottom of the raft perfectly so what I'm going to do is to show you the last few little bits is I'm just going to cover these in metal because it's my favorite material for them like I say strongest and most aesthetically pleasing so pop those in there and we'll head out to see a little bit don't want to pick up stones come on let's move so as you can see the raft is accessible it's drivable it's the same with the motorboat if you use these methods and then you can start thinking about building your raft now when i used to do this we used to get a few interesting results one was you could place things on the raft of the motorboat but if you built walls around let me grab some walls or you put any structure that was a building structure on the raft it wouldn't place anymore you would get red boxing which was super super annoying and the only way to fix that was to fly out a render and come back or move your raft and hope for the best sometimes it would work 
Sometimes it wouldn't, but now they've fixed it, it's patched. No matter what you put on this, you can place structures wherever you like, however you like, as long as they can be placed on a raft or a motorboat. And it's the same on the motorboat. The problem is, I found a way. Well, I didn't find a way. It just turned out that using this method allowed you to clip structures on a raft. So I have a whole video about clipping your fridge and your preserving bin into your grill and your cooker. And it doesn't look like it works anymore. I'll show you what I mean. I had on my build, where is it? A door here, a secret door, and a wall, and I had a generator in there. I got myself a refrigerator and I lined this up to this wall. Let's make sure the handle's at the front. And then I got a preserving bin out and I popped it on the side, like so facing me. And I put that there. And what you were able to do was grab a grill. I don't know why, but it was working. You could grab the grill and you were able to turn alignment mode off, get it fairly level, and you could push it into the back and this would stay green all the way to the point where this pops forward, which is there. And so you could put your grill in there, but the grill won't do that anymore. They've patched it. You could even put a cooker over the top of it, an industrial cooker, but they've stopped it. And now these foundations don't allow things to go glitchy and trippy, which is super sad. If you are coming from the video where I showed you how to do that, I do apologize. I shouldn't actually, I didn't change it. Take it up with whoever changed it. They should apologize because they've patched it. It was a super cool little thing, but we're gonna have to come up with a new raft design now, which is super sad. Remember though because I haven't built on here and I'm telling you you should but you need a ceiling on top of this if you build this raft and something attacks the top it will go down and the reason it will go down is because the foundations are too low to protect the raft that's why you can drive it so on both of these build walls build a ceiling keep your raft or motorboat protected but that's it guys I just wanted to show you how to lower the foundations so you could drive the raft explain that they've made this better and fixed it the positive thing of being able to place things no matter what you build on the raft at this foundation height and also the sad news that the structure clipping no longer works but because that's all i wanted to say i'm going to call that there guys thank you so much for watching if you've enjoyed this tutorial please remember to like subscribe and ring the notification bell it does wonders for my channel and i'm very very grateful for your support if you'd like to get more involved in the community check out the links in the description below we've got discord and the likes linked down there but until next time guys you take care and i'll catch you later Ciao,